Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're learning how we can tap into new career opportunities that are springing up globally and locally. And we have Trauma Affair with us, you know, giving us some hot gist, <laughs> hot nuggets. Now, <laughs> please let us share what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 Okay, so Choma, the reason I asked that question before we went on our break, see, eh, I know someone that um, there was an, a merger between her company that she's worked for for like 14 years with another company, and eventually when the new management took over and all of that, she just could not find herself working in another establishment because her, you know how you are so soaked into that, you know, that comfort, that routine and all of that. For me, it is, I, I think, you know, that, that was... Um, you, it was a disservice to herself because I feel that you, there's so much deposited in every one of us. We just need to, first of all, take ourselves from that comfort zone. That's one. Then how would you know that it is time for you to move, for you mm. to switch your career? When, when is that time? How would you feel it that it's that time I need to change this career that I'm, or this path? Okay. Um, I'm mentoring someone um, and... I had a conversation with her. She's not been promoted for five years. Um, she's been getting pretty decent grades. Um, she's working outside of her home country. Um, and she said to me, um, I've been doing the same thing. And I'm doing it well. I'm an expert in this thing, right? But I'm not fulfilled. I, I feel there's something else. And I, I, she, in talking to me and trying to understand what I've done and, and how I have how I've moved around and, and, and so on. She now said, so I said, are you scared? She said, first of all, she doesn't speak up. She, she's not able to, so she's very good, but she's not the person who's vocal in the meeting. If they call for an opinion, she's not the person to put up her hand. Hmm. Um, so she needed to overcome that. So we're working on her overcoming that. That is one. And I said, you haven't been promoted in five years. And there's a standard in your business, right? Mm. To be promoted every three to four years based on certain grades. Yes. Mm. Why haven't you promoted? Oh, well, you know, because she's not in the home country. Oh, you know, opportunity. I said, must your opportunity be in this same line? She kept quiet. I said, have you learned anything else? Have you developed yourself, you know, um, in any other skill? And she said, yes. And she, she spoke about some new skills she picked up and some other interests she had that had absolutely nothing to do, to do she with was. what she was doing. Mm -hmm. She had actually become an expert in this other thing, but had buried it as, you know, a side thing. And she never looked at it. And, you know, she had gotten sucked into five years of collecting a salary, mm -hmm. getting A's, A or B grades, and just kept on for five years. And I said to her, my dear, there are two things you can do. You can, one, have a conversation. And it's important to have the conversation. Whenever HR tells you, oh, your career is in your hands, as much as it can be annoying, it's good to have a conversation, right? Have a conversation with your HR partner or have a conversation with your supervisor and say, this is who I am. These are the things I'm interested in. Where do you see me going? What are the opportunities there? Have that conversation three years in, please. Especially when you know you are doing excellently well. Then aside that, I said to her, have that conversation and understand what the opportunities are. Do not wait for them to give it to you. They won't give it to you. They will assume you're happy and you're not. If you have that conversation, right, and it's not looking like anything credible is coming out of it or anything concrete, start to look outside. I am the last person to tell you to dwell in an organization where you are not moving up, where you are not gaining new knowledge or new experiences. Why are you sitting down there? And you're just going to be a manager until the end. A manager that could have done better. So branch out and start to look outside because you have new skills. Go on LinkedIn. Start to post these things. Because right? she writes pieces. She has expert knowledge on certain things. Nobody knows it. So you now have to go so for me, two, three years into your role, whatever that role is, you are either seeking to be part of a bigger project because there are always projects in big organizations, even in small ones now, right? Be part of something new. Challenge yourself. Do not be afraid to speak up. Do not be afraid to step out, like you said, of a comfort zone. And your comfort zone will be in your organization. And if in your organization you realize you have got that peak because it's a small business, you will be a big fish in a small pond very quickly. Hmm. If that is your ambition, fantastic. But if you believe you know, that you can do better, please, right, start to have conversations outside. 
start to look at what other people are doing, start to be mentored by people who are outside, start to leverage a network, and you know, start to look outside. So why five years, we say, in my business, I've grown a step, two, who knows, in five years. I have done one, two, three things. I've improved myself. I'm a professional in X, Y, Z, right? And this is my next step. I can see it. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to sort of see it mm -hmm. in a way. If not, you have to ask yourself some very hard questions. So I give people the three to five year mark. Hmm. Three wow. to five years. Okay, <laughs> that's very interesting. <laughs> because I'm going to ask myself questions, okay? Evaluate yourself with this thing that Choma is saying. Do you, do you think that it's time? But now let's talk about the real, um, the nitty gritty of actually switching. Because I know a lot of people that want to switch rules. But how easy is it to switch? Especially looking at the way organizations employ these days, you know, looking at the recruitment style, the recruitment strategy, then there's a matter of, I call it discrimination with age, you know, um, <laughs> yes. And then obviously, you know, people are just looking for, they're readily looking for experts in some other things. And you really, you know, how do you even demonstrate that this new thing that I want to do, I know how to do it. I just need the opportunity for you to actually give me an opportunity to do it. So, you know, what the, the actual, switching isn't as smooth as it is for some people how would you advise someone that's actually having this difficulty in in switching really mm -hmm. so they have the sorry they have the fire they have the passion they've learned the new skill but they just really can't break through the question so why can't they break through is that one is that one there is no opportunity for something else or you're saying there is but they are not being considered. Have mm -hmm. they put themselves forward? Or are they waiting to be asked? Have they have they said, okay, what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for the job to be advertised. And then I'll I would do you understand I would um I would uh, apply. Or are they saying that okay, I am in I, I'll give you an example. There's a young man who worked with me um in, in marketing, in retail marketing, and he's an IT guy. He came in as an, I, I really didn't understand how he ended up with me because the boy designs websites. He's a software person. But he said he didn't want to go into IT. He wanted to just first understand the end game. He wanted to see this thing he does, you know, what does it even result in, right? Mm -hmm. But he still kept his eye on IT. And that was his profession, what he went to school, what he studied, computer science and, and coding and all that stuff. And he ended up back in IT, by the way, right? And I didn't even know when he applied. I didn't because he kept his eye there and he was always looking for projects that had him into you know mingling with working with any IT project his hand was up first hmm. it's like oh i want to be part of that you know so they could see him and they could observe what he could do so it was a no brainer when they finally had a gap and he moved it was a no brainer they're like hey, 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 we know him now he's the one who works on this oh he helped us out with that he's our default person in you know retail marketing whenever we have and I, I, do you understand so he was, he had sort of um, carved out some kind of reputation informally. He didn't move jobs immediately. There was no opportunity. So how do you informally find the opportunity yourself? Or are you waiting for it to come to you? Hmm. Are you saying that as long as that role or that opportunity exists in your business, are you putting your hand up to volunteer? Okay, so I put my hand up and I didn't get up with I Push. Sometimes you have to push. You do have to push. You also have to have some interesting conversations with whoever it is you work with to say, I'm interested in something and I would like to be a part of it, right? And now to be fair, sometimes you may not get it. And I have a story of some other young girl that I know who I work in my team. And somehow the opportunity still hasn't come for looking outside. She's actually actively looking outside for an opportunity. Because she's determined that this thing I knew that I have learned, I'm passionate about, I want to do it. Mm. And I'm going to find a way to do it. Right? She mm. went on her own, she paid for courses, she did some certifications, right? And she tries to do part-time work that helps her refresh her brand management and marketing understanding, which mm. is great. So hers is that if I don't get it in this organization, I am going to so find it. So how out. passionate are, are you about that opportunity? Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Okay, let's take in some comments from our audience. Um, yours is from Benson. Okay. Um, let me take, um, Dorothy says, I really appreciate your guests. 
you either move up or sideways. What is the what is key is you are moving. Mm -hmm. That's what um, Dorothy says. Yeah. Then Benson. Okay, Benson says all opportunities are buried in challenges and desire to resolve them. In our community, the average mind is largely dependent on the handout or feel, feel entitled. How do we transform this to desire to always solve problems, which in many cases are never aligned to your course of study? <laughs> so I, I think really he's trying to say, how do you, I think she's answered it, how do you switch over to something that's not within your line? You know, mm. How do you transform this to desire? Do you like my study? Yeah. <laughs> study, my first degree? <laughs> no. English education, eh? educational management, English education that's what i study interesting yeah wow so you, you i agree with benson you know so there are challenges and um whether you like it or not you realize that the challenges may not be aligned with your course of study but that's the way to get ahead mm -hmm. i'm in retail i was in corporate comms corporate comms as you well know is more about the brand it's about the image, it's about some of the softer issues, it's about perception management. Mm. In retail marketing, I'm managing a team of analysts as well. Mm. I'm looking at numbers. I sit in meetings, including NPR from time to time, where we are discussing the business and the numbers. If I don't understand it, I better can ask someone to explain that balance sheet and that PL to me, right? So that I have the knowledge, so that when I'm asked the questions, I can speak, mm. right? And I can help them understand why my business is costing them money and how that cost is helping them ultimately. Mm. But I studied English. Mm. After that, I went and I did a market diploma. And after that, now I'm doing an MBA, right? So you keep developing, you keep learning so. because you want to meet that challenge. Mm. Because the challenges do not wait for you. Neither do they necessarily, like he Benzie said, hand out. They yeah, don't always have feel to entitled. You. Yeah. People just want you. I, 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 can't you just. No, but, but seriously, it happens in corporate organizations in that you stay for a number of years. You're entitled, you feel that it is your entitlement, entitlement. for you to. But does pay. it work that way? <laughs> you are not entitled to it. Yeah, what, okay. Look at what everything Choma has said. You need, there's a lot of work that you have to do, do yourself. you know, so in it's, terms it's of personal the development. Of years they will get to a stage where they don't even need to, to debate it. They will know that the only person that can get this job done is True. Akanimo because of how you have positioned yourself. <laughs> That's the thing now. All right, so let me take um, a question, I'll be a comment from Maria. Maria says, switching career uh, takes courage, never easy moving from um, known to unknown. What is fun in life if you cannot try several things? She's looking at it from a perspective of, you know, yeah. try to make your life fun. And I think, Eke, okay, you have one more comment, yes. you okay. know? Yes, I do. And he says, um, from Nasiru, says, I think you know when it is time, when you truly have given all and you see your value slowly coming down. Hmm. I, for, for me, I think yeah. it's when you start finishing each other's sentences. So you are in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell what everybody would say. I mean, you know, I think it's so for me, uh, it's when you get up and you don't want to go there. Ah. You get up in the morning and you know you don't ah. want to go there. I, I don't want to go here. I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. Done. But Choma, wait. Choma, yeah, Choma, hold on, hold on, hold on. In Nigeria, this thing you just said, how many yeah. people want to get up and go there? <laughs> in Nigeria. <laughs> you know, see, uh, um, your motivation may be cash. So I think that is still motivating you now. Yes. Abby. So at some time, like even this morning, I yes, don't I don't want it. I don't want it anymore. I think that's, In fact, that's honestly, I, I know someone very close to me. Yes, I know someone very close to me. She's actually um, earning in six digits, and she walked away. She doesn't have a job. She says she's done. She's not interested. They even called her back, increased the salary. They say it's not about the salary. I am done. I'm tired. You know. Um, somebody says, been in IT for 12 years, no promotion, nothing. During the lockdown, learned new IT skills and certified. Should I resign? Wow. Ah, Choma, wow. it is you that will answer that question. They will not come for me. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, should you resign to what? Uh -huh. Should you resign to what is the question. Mm -hmm. Should you resign to what? I was, I was watching, and I'm, I'm still going to go back and watch this YouTube uh, video because I'm, I'm learning something about entrepreneurship and about business plans and about having an idea. And I'll bring that idea to fruition. And so as an IT person, I, I always find that IT guys, they seem to be the ones everybody wants. Mm -hmm. But I think even in IT, there are certain skills that are even more, you know, precious and, you know, more sought after, right? So my guy, before you walk away, have a plan. Mm -hmm. My husband once told a friend of ours that 
if you want to go and start your own business, be able to pay your salary or at least cover your bills for a year. Mm. Knowing that you have saved this money, you can cover your bills. If you have a family, you can cover. And you, are, you, you have an idea and you're fleshing your idea out. But before you go out, that idea has gone beyond an idea. Mm. You have actually tested it. You have started making 50K from it. Do you understand? Some small money, 10K, 20K, you can see it coming. People are looking at you and thinking, oh, he's good at this. And this is the IT person who uses his brain, his intellect, and is able to do stuff, either hardware or software. If he hasn't done that, guy. So he's there. saying, he, he just sent another this. text message saying that resign to his own business, his own IT business. So, so how would he... His own IT business. So his own IT business, right? Yeah, Again, but... the objective. What, what does he... Um, uh what 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 does he so if it's a if, if it's one is fulfillment two is being able to pay his bills look after his family carry his responsibilities is that it business as it is on the side able to do that because you should bear in mind he's been living off two salaries here he's been living off his business giving him ten because bubble. he says he has he's more clientele salary, mm -hmm. in 30 bubble, mm -hmm. right so if he's saying that hey i'm willing to drop this 10 cobble or 30 cobble from my office because this my 10 10 cobble covers me mm -hmm. right i have some fulfillment and i can focus mm. and by all means go ahead yeah because he's, he's just sent another text that he has. Yeah, he's sending message. He has, right? he has a small clientele. <laughs> he has to for advice and services. But Choma, thank you so much. But if you want to just, you know, give a word of encouragement to somebody that is in the is stuck right now, staying on the fence, trying to switch and all of that, you know, what would you just advise that person? Because we're definitely going to bring you back. This is just the beginning of our friendship. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. Um, if, if on the fence of switching of switching careers, be very clear as to uh, why you want to switch careers. Mm. Be very clear uh, as to the reasons why. Understand what your long, mid to long term goals are mm -hmm. in this new thing you want to try out. Um, if you are convinced um, that one, you have the skill. If you are convinced you have the knowledge, um, you, you know, you take a shot and be brave, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then you step into that and you start to try your hand at it. If you are not, Test the water slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Don't jump right in to mm -hmm. the other side of the fence. I always say, if the grass is always seems, always seems to be greener, it's not quite, you know, um, you know, because you know the manure is everywhere. That's the honest truth. But you know, you can test the waters where you are, which is your comfort zone, slightly to understand that you can handle a different sort of role or a different opportunity. And then you step into that. But be very clear as to why. Yeah. Don't do it because everybody else is. Ah, one final comment just came in. You want to quickly take okay, that? Okay, yes. Let me quickly take it. It says, um, hi, nice conversation, ladies. I'm anonymous, please. It's fine. I worked with the organization for three years and I'm pretty good at what I do. I haven't gotten any promotion and increase in pay. I just feel like I'm stuck in one place and I'm gradually losing interest. Like the drive just isn't there anymore. I have a business on the side hustle and a business which currently gives me more joy and income. I want to quit, but I just don't like the whole idea of not going to work. <laughs> Cecil is uh, used to going to work. So she's stuck in between. Cecil is used to going to work yes. and she's stuck. <laughs> She has a new business yes. uh, that she's she's she, she's paying her, and I think she answered her own question. <laughs> she's answered it now. She's mm. not afraid. Is that is that not? Yes, she's that's just, yes. She's she's not yes. No, no, she's no. Afraid. It's the idea. So she's already an entrepreneur. Yes, you know, Choma. You know, there's a there's an idea. People that are entrepreneurs, they feel like they are jobless. Jealous because it is your job because you've not taken that um, that your business as a corporate business. Because if you wake up, like Correct. you would go to your, your office, mm -hmm. you wake up and go to your place of business and do the things you would do, like you're running an office, definitely you shouldn't feel bad. I, I think switching. she just has that fear of not. So you see, you see this, having an ID you see card, this I work five. here. See, let me not call it nine to five. You see this 7 a.m. to five. <laughs> Some people are stuck on it. Like you're just, it's like machine work. So they just like the. I don't know why anybody yeah. would like it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you see, just like, like you see. So. so so, to your point, you can you can actually build a routine yes. from your entrepreneurship Business, or yes, exactly. entrepreneurial thought. Build a routine. The same things you're learning from your day to nine to five corporate job, apply it here. Yes. You wake up in the morning. Is that you discipline? Have a plan. You go, you sit, you work it out. Yes. So, if you do that, why why not? 
Why not if not? If not, then keep it as your side hustle and build up on your on your company job. Absolutely. Oh, we are not afraid to step aside because I don't think that is that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We ran out of time. It's the discipline that they don't have. Yeah. That discipline. Thank you so much, Chama. Thank right, so Waze was birthed from the need to inform, Thanks. inspire, influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. If you're a job seeker, keep watching ways and follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all year round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on ways. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. We can't be afraid of change. You may feel very secure in the pond that you're in, but if you never venture out of it, you will never know that there's such a thing as an ocean or sea. <laughs> we'll see you live on Monday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.